Hello, this is Bob Hollis with the Mobius Network and a brief tutorial on how to use Project Fork. Um, today we're getting a project started for the Rock the Earth draft website and so all we have up here is a basic CSS theme at the moment and a login module. Uh, but Project Fork is installed to help manage the process once we get moving as a committee. So uh, if I log in here I can now go to Web Project Management and it's going to pull up the project management files. Um, I, as you can see I've got a, an avatar icon. When you first log in obviously you won't have one. You can click here to view your profile, click here to edit your profile, view your tasks, or log out. So if I wanted to edit my profile to add my avatar, you click there and you can see you can fix your name if it's wrong, uh, choose a language if that were an option. Here's where you browse to your avatar file and then when you save it it will say it will update. You can uh, update any of your contact information. Some people who are part of the project may not be registered Joomla admins or users so you can add people who are not uh, currently in the Joomla system. And down here you can fill in your LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, uh, phone number, Skype information, whatever else you'd want to need, uh, want to make available to other people that are part of the project. So I, I didn't add anything new, so I'll just cancel. But again, in that corner is where you edit. Uh, if I were to click my tasks, it'll show me only the tasks that are assigned to me. Now I currently only have one project in here. Normally, that's you know that's the RTE Joomla 1.7 website. Normally, I might have 15 or 20 projects. Uh, they could be all related to different things. I even track non-web-based projects this way. It's my project management tool on my own website. Uh, so this can be very useful. And if I were a member of three or four different projects, when I go to tasks for my tasks, it's only going to show my tasks. It's uh, from each of my projects and it will include due dates etc. If I go to my dashboard it pulls everything together. If you have consultants working on projects you can also do time tracking right here. So you know give them a list of things to do. They come in, they say what they did, they make a note, they track their time and it's an easy way to as a matter of fact for nonprofits track volunteer time so that you can have those hours available for grant applications and things of that nature. Uh, so many uses here. The calendar will show different dates as they're added, whether they're milestone deadlines, uh, target events, things of that nature. And it, again, will only show projects I'm involved in on my calendar. Everybody's uh, login and access is a little different. Uh, if I wanted to add a new milestone to the project, I would click here and put in the, you know, whether or not it has a deadline, set the priority level, general information, so it might be, you know, launch website or whatever that might be, and then just save it. Here I'll just cancel, I don't have one to add at the moment, but you can see that I added two here. One was uh, create a working 1.7 development site, and the other install and configure modules and extensions. Uh, these parts are done, this is the milestone, and these are a couple of tasks that were assigned to that milestone and assigned to me. And they're crossed off because they're completed. Uh, here are two that are not completed and I'm working on this one right now. Uh, so that'll give you a feel how it works and once I'm done I will be able to click complete. And I'll go ahead and do that now since we're once begun is half done, right? So that's a, a basic overview then of uh, projects and tasks and here you can upload files so instead of people emailing a bunch of files to each other uh, say for example I want to make a, a header file available to us then I can create a new file folder called um, well, let's call it web graphics files and it's just what it says it is so I'll go ahead and put something in there Okay, so we've got a new folder now, and I want to upload a file to that folder. So here's my folder. Okay. 
and you can see uh, again just a list of the different projects and the things that we've got there. Uh, let me go back to files, new file, and I'll browse to the header logo, which I believe I have saved on my desktops. Oh, I know where in my Dropbox Rock the Earth file. I save uh, save files in Dropbox so that I could access them from any computer whenever I need them. So I've just um, added this file and I'll click save. And now this logo file is available in our project. Well, I should have put it in this folder. I, I'll move that. Um, but it's available to all of us now so everybody that's a part of the project can come and find this folder where this file will be and we could have our other graphics there and files for whatever else we need you can create notes for other people you can uh, have the calendar here and you can add projects milestones tasks they'll actually self-populate but you can add things yourself as well and display it different ways month, week, day, it may depend on how busy it is and how many projects you've got. Here's a discussion group so I might start something along the lines of committee meeting when would be a good time for a kickoff meeting prior to starting I will just say uh, kickoff meeting to determine features and evaluate options then you can insert an image, you can do anything you can with another Joomla article and it inherits the JCE standard uh, Joomla editor that it's not the standard Joomla editor, one that I installed that I like better than the standard Joomla editor. So I can now save that message and anybody else who's a part of the thing can come in and discuss and basically have a little forum um, where we're all in close communication. Again here's where you can track time here is where you can set up groups and again you've got list of users here now it's kind of important that people upload their avatars because w when you uh, go to look at a project and tasks it shows the person's avatar next to the project and it's a lot easier to figure out who's supposed to be doing what uh, once that avatar is uploaded but that's again basically how you use project fork it's a really great project management system that helps keep everybody on track, everybody on the same page. And when you know there's a bottleneck somewhere, you can see exactly who's responsible, what the deadline is, uh, what the holdups are, if there's anything in notes. But it's a, a really great tool that can be used across committees, across groups, um, and it works well with multiple users up to pretty much unlimited numbers. If you have any questions, bob at themobiusnetwork.com. Thank you.